Hello Sagittarius. Welcome to Unicorn Funland. I'm Michaela Andromeda. If this is your first time with me, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm a tarot and energetic reader and today I'm going to be pulling some cards for your 2019 yearly reading. If these messages resonate with you, please don't hesitate to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to book a personal reading, you can go to unicornfunland.com, look down at the bottom. You can follow me on Instagram, Pinkie Pie Sugar Pop, come join my tribe. And if you ever need a prayer request or to vent or just for somebody to just be there for you, highpriestessmichaela at gmail.com is my email address. You can email me. I'm here. I'm listening and I do respond. But let's get into your energy. <clears throat> I already put your mojo on the card, so we're going to pull 24 cards. Yep. Already coming out. Um, and spirit has been has been uh, telling me about kind of kind of about what's been going on with the energy of Sagittarius. There's been a lot of growth this year, like a lot of growth. It's feeling like ups and downs, like backs and forths between energies. I'm feeling um, people who have been starting new jobs. People have been starting like multiple times like having to to find the right thing for them we're hopefully going to get into more of that in here let's see so i already got uh i already got january out here i'm just shuffling pulling cards for each month we're going to go straight through the year so january you got this five of swords so it's feeling like there's going to be some opportunities that come and you're going to need to take advantage of these opportunities. Take what you can. And even if these opportunities come out of the rubble of something, like some kind of tower moment. Here's your five of swords. If these opportunities come out of some kind of bad situation, that makes it all the better. Because that's just a way for you to rebuild. These opportunities are a way for you to rebuild and coming from rubble, rebuilding, <laughs> these opportunities coming from rubble, that means, that means like being able to pull your resources. So it's like easy. It's easy to build from rubble because there's already sort of a foundation, okay? This is a year for creativity for everybody. So be prepared for these creative messages. If you have been um, wondering about your next step in life, if you're wondering about why am I getting, oh my goodness, and look, the tower came out. <laughs> if you're wondering uh, why am I getting so much backlash at work, it's probably because you're not supposed to be there, okay? So for confirmation, for taking what you can come January, for taking advantage of the situation, for taking advantage of the opportunities that you have. It's going to be important to stabilize your emotions when you find these opportunities. When you, when you find yourself taking advantage, I'm seeing somebody like, okay, this is mine. I want this. This is, this is what I'm here for. This is what I'm doing. This is my purpose. And then going, going within to confirm that. Always confirm within. Always confirm within, period. But especially in January, you're going to need that confirmation. You're going to need that emotional confirmation. Because if it feels right, most likely it's right. More than likely. General message. And it also depends on your level of intuition and how close you are with spirit. Or to whatever religious practice that you have. Okay. This is for February. So this is moving on. Um, some of you are, there's a lot of you actually that are going on this emotional journey who are learning more about your emotions in set four. And this is a synchronicity. This is a four of cups. This is the eight of cups. Okay. So yeah, doubling your stability in your emotions. It's feeling like a lot of you have been working on your emotions. A lot of you have been working on centering yourselves 
and you're going to experience a lot of that this year in 2019 okay those of you who do moon magic february 2019 is going to be a great time to do moon magic it's going to be a great time to learn about moon magic and to do some research also do some research on your emotions meditation is going to be very prominent and it's going to help you rebuild. This is your tower. That's why I was like, ah, it's a tower. Because I was talking about the tower before. But this is your tower. It came in upside down. While this is falling down, some of you may be experiencing these tower moments. But what I'm feeling uh, and how the card came in through the energy, a lot of you are going to be able to rebuild. Especially if you learn your emotional lessons. I'm feeling people who react emotionally who make uh make like brash emotional decisions or who have been making brash emotional emotional decisions here in 2018. And it's feeling like you're going to get some lessons to learn about that. And if you're beyond that, if you're emotionally stable, good, go deeper. <laughs> that's all that's going to mean is just go deeper for March spirit. For March for Sagittarius. And it's interesting that you got this tower card right along with this emotional card because this eight of cups, it can be like a breakdown. So it's almost like breaking down only to build right back up again, like a quick and easy succession for some of you quick, not all of you. Some of you it'll be quick. Some of you it'll be slow and steady. But the progress is like, the progress is very steady. The progress for you rebuilding your emotions and rebuilding whatever emotional attachments you have. I'm feeling people breaking up. I'm feeling marriages, marriage consequences, yet. I'm feeling some marriages ending. I'm feeling divorces, which is understandable. But it's going to be necessary for your growth. That's what it's all about. It's all about your growth. So for March, we got the devil card coming out. And the devil, this is an indication to be aware of your ego. And if you're not aware of your ego, start to become aware of it. And if you feel like you don't have an ego, I don't know. If you feel like you don't have an ego, then uh, maybe you should do a little more research on an ego because we all have one. If you open your mouth to talk, you have an ego and that's not a bad thing. It's important to balance your ego, to find some balance with your ego. Um, I'm feeling somebody is very egotistical about their career, very egotistical about... <laughs> Almost like, not even, almost, arrogant, like very arrogant about what they do and about their physical appearance. And there's so many lessons to learn through your physical appearance. Wow. There's lessons to, to learn through how people see you. Yes. Lessons to learn about how people see you. Not that you should be concerned with how people see you, but um, more like how you're putting off, like what you're putting off, like what energy you're putting off or what, um, what people are picking up from you. So be aware of how you're expressing yourself. And if you're, if you find that you're not expressing yourself, in a productive manner, it may be time for a life change. Oof. So balancing your ego is going to give you some growth. It's going to cause some flowering and it's going to plant seeds. It's um, learning, learning about your ego and learning how to balance it however it resonates you or however it resonates with you is going to um, help you to nurture your surroundings, nurture your path, like your physical path, nurture your physical body. Again, some like whatever, whoever, 
resonates with this appearance thing. Like, I'm fit, spirit is saying, dumb it down. Dumb it down. Not saying that you just stop wearing makeup or stop taking showers or anything like that. It's not, that's not the case. It's just like, do you really need that Gucci? And if you need the Gucci, you need the Gucci. And there's nothing wrong with that. But it's however it resonates with you. For April spirit, for April. Let's see. So gaining momentum in your career. Some of you are going to be traveling for career. Spirit's talking about the mountains again. <laughs> some of you are traveling through the mountains. Some of you are hiking and going, going uh, mountain climbing. I'm seeing even like rock climbing walls. But um, I'm also seeing endurance, um, 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 determination to, to, wow, determination to set a goal and determination to reach a goal. So if you've been feeling like your goals are either for not or that your goals aren't on par with what you want to do for the rest of your life, again, reevaluation. This is, this is a reevaluating year for you. Because you're gonna have you're gonna have to reevaluate in order to be creative. I get creativity from three. Three is the year next year. 2019, two plus one plus nine. In at the end, it ends up as three. Okay. So that's a three year. Creativity, communication, community, okay, completion. This is a year to complete all of these life lessons. Because they, these are life lessons. All these emotional lessons, all these water lessons, you're going to need to learn them in order to stabilize yourself. Okay. But anyway, <laughs> that was like a sidebar. But you're, this, this gaining momentum card, I'm feeling some of you are gaining momentum in your career and, and finding what you truly want to do, finding your purpose and passion. Don't think too much about it. Don't think too much about your career and what you want to do. Don't think too much about your purpose. When you think too much about it, then you don't get any results. When you think too much about it, you tend to miss the point. You tend to miss the purpose. Okay? So what's my purpose? Somebody's asking what their purpose is. Your purpose is the thing that you love to do. The one thing that you could wake up and just do all the time. And if that is your day job, then your day job is your purpose and you're working in your purpose. Congratulations. For May, May, okay. That's another emotional card. So it's feeling like the emotional work that you are doing in February is gonna come to some kind of completion. It's gonna come to a head here. I'm feeling marriages. I'm feeling happy family, again. I'm feeling um, somebody finally giving birth. Somebody creating a family, somebody proposing even. I'm just feeling emotional satisfaction, emotional satiety, finally. That finally word keeps coming up for people, like finally. Yes. So in order to fully enjoy this, in order to fully enjoy this emotional satiety, you're going to have to let go of the past. Because you're changing, Sagittarius. You're changing every single day. That's a given. That's the, the general message of life. <laughs> Is that you're changing. And so there's no, re there's no reason for you to hold on to what was. There's no reason to hold on to the past. If you were married and got divorced, there's probably no reason for you guys to even be in contact. Unless you got kids, of course. You know, that way. You want to keep that communication open. But not too much it's feeling like you need to let whoever it is go empty out your cup empty out all of this turmoil out of your head and look at the beauty around you look for a new partner if that resonates with you if this is about love for you okay and for those of you who uh this resonates with work you may need to 
let go of an old work situation stop clinging to to what it was oh i used to make so much money and oh yes 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 some of you are going into a new career path and it's feeling like some of you are going to be starting on your purpose here in what is this may here in may some of you starting on your purpose and there's going to be a need like a desperate need for you to let go of what of what used to happen in your work life i'm feeling like you used to work with some toxic people i'm feeling like you used to work with people who weren't for your highest good people who weren't on the same page as you and so that's that's just all the more reason to start on your purpose that's all the more reason to create your own business and to start on your passions okay for June, we got the princess, so princess of swords, and she is in her ooh, 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 synchronicity. I've never gotten this synchronicity before. Not with these two, okay? Princess of swords, <laughs> mind card, page of swords, page of clouds, okay? So, come June, if you feel like you need to make a new mental decision. Spirit is saying you're going to need to make it swiftly. And you're going to need to be honest with yourself about whether or not this is the right decision. And it's, again, don't think too much about it. Be honest with yourself. Weigh the pros and the cons. Weigh the pros and the cons, but be honest with yourself. And if it's the right thing for you to do, that's just what it is. And learn from this. Learn from making this decision. Learn from making this this brash, and I don't mean brash like fast, but like this like hardcore decision. Because that this is just what it's feeling like. This is what's being delivered. Something hardcore some kind of hardcore decision like I finally need to do this I'm seeing you like standing in the middle of your living room like I finally need to do this okay I've decided I've decided weighing your pros and cons of course but you've decided and you'll be able to learn from this decision it's gonna be it may feel like a burden it may feel like a burden it may feel hard it may feel like um, this decision isn't going to take you anywhere. It may feel like this decision isn't going to yield the results that you want. But don't take everything at face value. Always do your research, your pros and cons list. I'm telling you, that that weighing your pros and cons is going to be very important for you this year. It's going to help you grow. It's going to cause you to grow. And for some of you, it's going to force you to grow. Especially if you are making the universe the universe <laughs> if you're making the universe force you then the universe will force you to grow but you can stay ahead of the game this is one of those years where you can jump start stuff everybody's getting this message stay ahead of the game jump start whatever decision this is jump start your success don't make spirit force you don't get yourself into such a hole that spirit has to like take everything from you in order for you to wake up. What else? For July. Stay ahead of the game. Learning from these burdens is going to be an achievement. It's, it's taking you up a mountain, these burdens. It's taking you to grace. Whatever all this heaviness is, because I'm feeling a lot of heaviness from you, Sagittarius, it's taking you to grace, and it's helping you to learn, and it's helping you to reach higher ground and more people. More people, I, I want to help, I want to help. That's what I keep hearing, Sagittarius wants to help. You want to help? Help yourself first. Grow within first. Make your decisions first. Here's another synchronicity. That's the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Rainbows, Queen of Pentacles, same Queen. So come July, 
Excuse me. Come July, once you learn these, these lessons, once you learn these, these mental lessons and once you make your decisions, whatever decisions that they are, that's going to yield, ooh, that's going to yield more growth. It's feeling like somebody has been asking for growth. Somebody has been asking to get closer to spirit, which is beautiful. Very, very, very beautiful. And remember, when we have spiritual awakenings and when we ask to get close to spirit, it's not always pretty. It doesn't always feel pretty. I say it's beautiful because the whole lesson of getting close to spirit is beautiful. But it's not easy and it's not pretty. <laughs> not when you're in it. Not all the time. No fluffy bunnies. Sorry, guys. I just got to be real. Not sorry. <laughs> but it's feeling like um, July is going to yield some more growth. Planting some more seeds. Two cards. Spirit say, come to me for guidance. Come to spirit for guidance on the next step. Yes. Nurturing your home, nurturing your family, nurturing your surroundings. So home life is going to be very important for some of you in July. Taking care of the finances, getting all of your ducks in a row. And nurturing your yourself, nurturing your body, nurturing your environment. Okay? Nurturing your car. Maybe some of you need to be taking care better care of your car. Taking better care of your finances. Switching up how you take care of your family. Somebody else got that message. But that's gonna bring that celebration. Woo! <laughs> you finally nurturing your environment. Is going to bring you a celebration. It's going to bring you a reason to celebrate. It's going to make you feel better about yourself because you finally have that control. <laughs> I know Sagittarius, you, you, you and Taurus are two control, controlling signs. I mean, like, and not, I'm not saying controlling all the time over everybody, but you guys like to have a certain amount of control. And once you gain this certain amount of control in July, you're going to feel like a weight has been lifted. <clears throat> you're going to feel like, I need to party. For your work and careers, it's two cards. For your work and career for July, this is also, this is also indicating that you're going to have more, a little more control over your environment at work, especially if you bring Especially if you bring your, your feminine aspect into your work, whether you're a male or a female. If you bring the feminine goddess out. <laughs> if you bring the feminist goddess, feminist goddess, feminine goddess out at work, you're going to attract more people. You're going to attract more attention. Um, those of you who are not the boss, you're going to attract attention from your boss. Those of you who are the boss, you're going to attract attention from the higher up, from the CEOs, okay? If you find a way to balance the woman inside of you and the man inside of you, balance the male and the female in your body at work and allow that to shine out, then you're going to get more opportunities. It's going to... It's going to it's going to yield more opportunities for celebration, more opportunities for growth. Growth of your company is what I'm seeing for some people. What is this for August? There's another Earth card. Okay. Charity. And this is going to allow you to give. Whatever, whatever occurs in July, whatever energy you are exuding, <laughs> whatever energy you are pushing out of yourself and into your environment, however you're nurturing your environment, that is going to give you a chance to give charity. It's going to give you a chance to give. I'm feeling I want to help. So in August, you're going to be able to help. And if you're one of those people who, who needs help, it's feeling like in August, 
help may drop on you help may just fall on you <laughs> but you're gonna have to promise yourself you're gonna have to promise yourself that you're sticking to your guns you're gonna have to promise yourself that you're sticking to this charity and you're gonna have to be okay with giving it law of attraction mm. law of attraction says that what we put out we get back somebody else got this message i don't remember who but what we put out we get back um if you are i'll use the same metaphor if you're giving four hundred dollars if you have five hundred dollars in your bank account and you're giving four hundred dollars out of love and then you go home and you complain and you worry about that money that you've given then you won't get it back that's just how the law of attraction works you have to give relentlessly you have to be okay with giving and you have to decide if giving is what you need to be doing because it i know a lot of you want to give from your heart but if you don't have the finances think about it logically if you don't have the finances to give then you can't give and that's okay make another decision the beautiful thing about this card is that there's so many decisions to make this person can fall this person can make the decision to fly this person can make the decision to climb up they can make the decision to levitate okay there's there's different ways that you can do this there's different ways that you can give and it doesn't always have to be money you can give of your time you can give of your of your um resources you can give food to people you can help people out that way but uh august is is going to be a time for charity and if you need to um, give at work if you need to give some kind of charity at work spirit is saying give it and keep it under wraps because it's not everybody's um, business to know what you're giving and how much you're giving and here's our tower again and this is just learning so it's feeling like it's feeling like this tower whew, this tower is like a finality of course, you're going to rebuild from this tower, but this tower is um, after those of you who, oh my goodness, it's, it's, some of you are, are uh, going to be having a breakdown of finances, but the breakdown of finances is going to be necessary. It's going to be necessary for you to rebuild something bigger. Breaking down, breaking up is not a bad thing. That means something better is coming, okay? So prepare. Prepare for, for a tower moment. Prepare yourself to have a change of mind. Prepare yourself to have a change, for some of you, a change of environment and a drastic change of environment. And don't compare your situation to anybody else's because this tower moment, you're going to hear about people going through their tower moments and it's going to be like, well, how did you get through that so fast and so easily? It's not going to be the same for you, Sagittarius. Okay? Don't compare your journey to anybody else's, especially come, uh, what is this, August, July, August, September. That was September. <laughs> I'm just going through. Just going through the, the year. That's September. So be prepared. Be prepared for some kind of breakdown in September. And it doesn't have to be, oh, a big scary breakdown like I'm going to be depressed and in my bed for 10 weeks. It's not like that. It's just be prepared for some kind of upheaval. Okay. Two cards. Uh, let's see. October. October spirit. Oh, oh, that's two cards. Let's look up. October. Your journey is very unique, Sagittarius. And you guys are a transpersonal sign. You're you're the transpersonal fire sign. And that means that you're one of the signs that has learned a lot of lessons, either in past lives or in this life. You, you've learned a lot of lessons and you're not a child anymore and you're ready to get closer to spirit. So when you experience these tower moments, go to spirit. Whatever you believe in, God, Allah, Buddha, whatever you believe in, go to that. When you feel a breakdown coming, go to spirit. Because that's where you'll find your solace. If you're an atheist, go to yourself, go within, whatever. I don't know what atheists do. 
but like go to that source, that thing that keeps you going, that keep, thing that keeps you driving and that keeps you on this planet, <laughs> that keeps you alive. In, what is this, October, it's feeling like there's going to be some kind of emotional message that comes to you. via a young person some of you are going to start dating a younger person some of you are going to be dealing with a younger person in your workspace some of you are going to need to hire a younger person there's a lot of young energy i mean this card has so many different meanings but that young energy is what's coming through and for some of you for some of you this is you You're going to have to learn to observe yourself and become more mature with your emotional decisions. Wow. Wow. Yes. Become mature with your emotional decisions. Okay. Understand and know for sure that the universe is guiding you in the right direction. Some of you are going to need to take a risk, an emotional risk. And that emotional risk is going to push awareness out of your being. Some of you are going to need to get deeper in touch with this right here, with the baby Buddha. And allow that Buddha to come out. Allow that Buddha to express itself and to exude the confidence that is within you. The confidence that some of you are feeling like is tapering off emotional confidence that's what the baby buddha is going to provide emotional confidence spiritual confidence meditative confidence mental and physical confidence but only if you allow the buddha awareness to come out of you what else spirit november november Ooh, stacks X, X and Jax. That was the Prince of Wands, but that wasn't your card. So it's feeling like there may be some kind of indecision. Come November, another decision to make. Deciding who to stay close to. Deciding who is truly in your corner. Deciding who you want to take advice from. In, um, in the Osho deck, this is We Are the World. And this also indicates community and gathering with people that you know and people that you can learn from. Gathering with people that you can even teach. I'm feeling some uh, volunteer opportunities coming up for you. And volunteering like and feeling good about volunteering like oh my gosh I just volunteered at the Y and I played basketball with the kids and and it was just a great experience we had fun you know that kind of stuff um, those kind of volunteer opportunities I'm also feeling like there's some of you who are needing to get advice from an older person some of you who are needing to um, access <laughs> access the memories and experiences of an older person so that you can learn more about where you currently are in your life. And if you can, go to a Sagittarius, an older Sagittarius. Also a Gemini. Geminis are, are very important this year for some reason. Geminis are showing up in like everybody's readings for this year. So if you know a Gemini who is older than you, who you feel like you can learn from, a Gemini who is accomplished and has been through what you're going through, who is maybe in your niche or maybe um, a, a senior partner at your job or whatever it is, go to them because they'll have really good advice for you. And don't isolate yourself from anybody. Don't isolate yourself from your community, especially in November. Don't isolate yourself from your family. Go out. Go out and talk to people in November. Go out and meet people in November. Okay? I really I wouldn't be surprised if 
there was something going on the stop going on in the stars that pertains to what I'm talking about. So if you're curious about that, go to OJC Astrology. She does astrological charts. She also does tarot. But go over to that uh, website and get your astrological chart done, and then you can get confirmation of this stuff. December, it all starts again. It all starts again. You're ending your year with the need to take a risk. And Spirit's saying it's going to be a beautiful risk if you're ready to take the next step in your spiritual development. For some of you, if you're ready to take the next step towards your creativity, ready to take the next step towards financial independence, you're going to have to take some kind of risk and be happy about taking this risk. Play while you're taking this risk. Have a good time. Enjoy the company of whoever you're taking the risk with. <laughs> Some of you are taking the leap. Here's a confirmation. Here, um, confirmation and synchronicity. These are the same card. These are both Princess of Cups. Okay. So. Wow. Take a leap. Take a leap. Take a leap. This bird is sitting here wondering why he's not flying. Wondering if he'll ever be like his friends out there accomplishing their dreams and flying. But he's stuck and he's caged. I'm speaking metaphorically. He's stuck and he's caged because he's not taking a risk. This is your confirmation. This is your synchronicity. Take the risk jump in December, jump, especially if it's for your higher good, especially if you know that it's not going to hurt yourself or anybody else. Take the risk and leap, jump, and just start flapping your wings and understand that there's no way that you can fall. No fluffy buttons. I'm not saying everything's going to end up all perfect and happy, okay? There's always going to be work to do always going to be work to do and if you're willing to put in the work then you'll find some kind of success you'll find that spiritual guidance um that that just comes to you you'll find spirit just opening you up to the akashic records opening you up to astral travel opening you up to dimensional travel and stuff like that opening you up to your psychic gifts claircognizant whoever is claircognizant out there clairsentience also feeling and picking up on energy. Some of you uh, have been experiencing that already. And you're not understanding it. Maybe you're not understanding it. That's most likely claircognizance. You're just picking up on feelings. Picking up on, on uh, somebody calls. And it's you say, mm, I'm thinking about my mom. And then somebody calls you and it's your mom. Like that's claircognizance. Just being aware. Okay. So. Be ready to take your leap. Be ready to take your leap at the end of the year. There's a lot of growth that's going on. A lot of growth going on this year. A lot of um, ups and downs, like I said in the beginning, tower moments. Um, I'm seeing some dark nights of the soul. This can indicate a dark night. Okay? But you're determined, Sagittarius. You're determined to get things done. You're determined to move forward. You're determined to get to the next level. And you will level up. You will. Especially if you're putting in the work. Yeah. That's what happens when we put in work. We level up. One more message, Spirit. Advice. What is your advice for Sagittarius for 2019? Advice. Advice for Sagittarius for 2019. Advice, spirit. No, nope, that's two cards. Lots of advice. <laughs> Do not allow anyone, anything, or any situation to pressure you into getting things done this year. Do it your own way. Do it your own way. And don't hold anything back. 
this is not going to be a year for you to hide and to hide your feelings and to hide from spirit and to run away not at all you stand boldly in your power stand boldly in your purpose and stand boldly in your spirit and don't let anybody pressure you to do anything <laughs> pressure yourself to succeed Sag that is your yearly 2019 reading if these messages resonate with you like share and subscribe if you want to book a reading unicornfunland.com you can follow my social media all the information is down below but I think you have a lot of growth to do, a lot of growing, because there's a lot of different energies here for you. And this, this is a big thing. This is very big. Remember that you're gaining momentum. Remember, if you ever have some kind of tower moment, you're gaining momentum. And there's no way that anybody else can stop you, ever, ever. Beautiful Sagittarius. All love and praise to the universe within me and without me, spirit. Allow our Sagittarius friends to know what they need to do in order to stay determined to grow and determined to work in their purpose and help people and determined to stay close to spirit and get even closer. I love you so much, Sagittarius. You have a beautiful moment and I'll see you around. Bye!